found out some really creepy stuff about Chris Brown's stalker and even he is scared for his life. I believe this is her at a Chris Brown meet and greet. He had no idea of what she was doing at the time, but pay attention to how she is dressed in all red, even her hair, because there's a conspiracy about this woman that's just gonna send chills down your spine. But this is no ordinary stalker. She was sending death threats to Chris Brown and his dancers. Yo, what I gotta do, if I gotta join a gang, I gotta do some mob sh I don't care. Cause even I can say it cause you go with the wrong crew, you don't go to jail. Shit, man, I gotta work for the government. Where can I legally kill? Cause I'm coming for you motherfuckers as soon as I can. Might be 20 years from now, laugh, laugh, hee hee, ha ha. But when I can fucking legally kill or I can kill and my word is over your word and they gonna believe me over you. She also found a way onto his neighbor's property. I think she said she was gonna tour the house to buy it or something, just so she can get pictures and videos of his house. She finally makes it to the backyard and then you can see her saying, this is a nice view and his house is right there. Move him. And the view is nice. Back to the conspiracies, people are saying this might be some type of demonic possession because one, she's dressed in all red, and in this video I'm about to show you, she says that she keeps sending him Bibles and books that has to do with God, and she keeps calling herself an angel. He's got a lot of Bible things for me. I sent him this, I sent him um, a Bible. This is all throughout from like 20s, from 2021. I sent him, um, uh, there's a DVD called Silence in God in America, Silence in God. Like, you know, I'm just an angel. I'm his angel. I'm his angel. Like, I'm All right. Look at the chess boards. Really cool. Life-size chess boards. Remove them. And the view is nice.